Previously on Cars Adventures, Mater has told an interviewer that Sally does not get along well with her sister, and this is something that Sally did not want the media to know, and now she's upset with Mater because of this. Also, Patrick Pace's brother, an off-road racer named Brody, has recently come to Radiator Springs. <laughs> gotten Sally upset, Mater. Look, maybe I'll go talk to her, okay? Maybe things will be better if, if I go talk to her. <laughs> hey, Lightning. Hey, Mater. Hey, Brody. Hey, Brody. How's it going? Pretty good. Great to see you guys. <laughs> so, Patrick. Yeah, what's up, Brody? Tell me, man. What do you usually do? What's, like, a day in the life of a Radiator Springs police officer like? Well, usually I just hang out, you know, do patrols, see if anybody's in trouble, see if anyone's breaking any laws or rules. It gets kind of boring sometimes. I mean, a lot of times, Sheriff, when he's on duty, he'll just fall asleep by the Radiator Springs sign. <laughs> and I mean, so do I, like, frequently. And what about those protectors of Radiator Springs you've told me about? Well, sometimes, you know, we have bigger missions and uh, somehow this little town has garnered quite the group of enemies over the years. So, you know, sometimes I'm needed to do uh, bigger cases with some uh, secret agents and a few other cars. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, we've done a bunch of things. We've track down cars around the world and you know stuff like that cool cool so is there usually just like this much sitting and waiting in your job yeah pretty much actually crimes around here happen pretty infrequently thief thief and ah <laughs> guess i spoke too soon thief thief hey sarge What's going on, man? Somebody took my fireworks. They were right over here, and somebody took them. Okay, all right, do you know who did it? Was it Fillmore? What? No, 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 it wasn't Fillmore. A uh, car drove off with them. Okay, do you know what he looked like? Yeah, yeah, he was a pickup truck, yellow. A bit shorter and thinner than the usual pickup truck, like a, uh, a thinner bed, okay, like, like a shorter bed. Yeah, got that. Uh, any scrapes, scratches, decals? No, but he did have this antenna with a piston cup on it. Okay, and uh, how long ago did this happen? Very, very recently. I just realized it was gone and I saw him driving away. You could probably still catch him right now. Okay, thanks, Sarge. Which way did he go? Right out of town. All right. So, catching a criminal, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Can I come with you? Well, I don't see why not. It's always nice to have backup. Great! All right, where is this guy? Sarge said he's right out of town. I can't talk now, okay? We gotta talk and move. Uh, okay! We are looking for a yellow pickup truck with a piston cup antenna. Um, okay. And Sarge said he just saw him leave town. We could still probably catch up to him. All right, I'm right behind you, man. You see anyone, Brody? Yeah, I, I think I do. I think that's him right up there. <laughs> hmm. Moving pretty slow and humming pretty happily for a guy who just, you know, committed a crime. Yeah. All right, let's catch up to him. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, sirens. Oh, is that the cops? Uh, a cop? And is that professional off-road racer Brody Pace? Stop right there! In the name of the law. In the name of the Galactic Senate of the Republic, you are under arrest, my lord. What? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! It's my brother's uh, first day on the job here. Why are you quoting a Star Wars movie? I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm new at this. I, I thought it would work, okay? Well, did it work in the movie? No, the guy who said that line got shot out of a window a few minutes later. Exactly. 
Sir, you are under arrest for stealing these fireworks from Sarge's Surplus Hut in Radiator Springs. Steal them? I didn't steal them. I, I thought there were freebies on the lawn. Freebies on the lawn. Yeah, you know how people leave things like by the curb that you could take for free, like, like furniture and stuff? Yeah. I thought that's what these were. Who would put out fireworks on their lawn for you to take for free? Who would put out fireworks to begin with? Okay, you know what? That's a pretty fair point. Yeah, you know what? Why were those fireworks just hanging out on Sarge's front lawn? Why didn't he bring them inside the store? That's a very good question. Honestly, I don't know. Look, uh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, here, you can take these back. Uh, or uh, I'll be willing to pay for them if, if Sarge is, is, uh, is looking to sell them. I'm sorry, this is all a big misunderstanding. Can you, can you please let me go for this? I guess so. All right, you didn't understand what you did. You didn't realize that the items weren't for sale. We'll leave you off with a warning. Well, 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 you two work fast. <laughs> so tell me, did you capture that fiend? Well, no, actually. No? Why not? Well, everything turned out to be a big misunderstanding. Uh, he thought you were giving away the fireworks for free. Um, so we let him off. We let him go. And we brought the fireworks back. Oh, okay. Where'd you put their fireworks out? Oh, I just left them over there by that flaming barrel. By that flaming- Wait, Brody, no! The Senate will decide your fate. I am the Senate.